Hi everyone and welcome to How's It Rate. My name is Chico and I'll be your host today. Today we are going to be reviewing something new and different and it was uh, suggested to me by one of my viewers. Looking pretty good there. Michelangelo's. I mean fancy right? Shrimp Scampi. Yup. From Michelangelo's. And this was recommended by Justin Leitner. Apparently he did not like the Jimmy Dean steak, grilled steak bowl. And he had a few comments to make about it, uh, which I can't repeat here, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I asked him, I said, uh, well, can you suggest something that's uh, frozen food that you do like? And I'll give it a shot. So he wrote back to me and he suggested this right here, Michelangelo. So we're going to do a review on that. But before I get started, I just wanted to do a shout out to some new um, subscribers. And uh, they would be Jordan Lockhart, Ginger Mystery, Chris Hunt, Janda0608, Michaela Jean, Hope Johnson, Joey Kent, Trevor Davy, Scott Arabogast, Arabogast, I guess, Arthur Tanitomid, and Bray N.F., Edward Kinsella, Nan Tran, Jim Limberg, Bing Sheen, and uh, Liadra. Okay, enough of that. But I wanted to say thank you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Alrighty, here we go with our uh, Michelangelo's uncompromising Italian style shrimp scampi. Whoa! With linguine pasta in a fresh heirloom garlic butter sauce. Wow, not just a butter sauce, heirloom. Whoa. All right, keep frozen, cook thoroughly. Absolutely no preservatives, microwavable. Net weight, 10 pounds, or I'm sorry, 10 ounces. Uh, I picked this up at uh, Wally World, and the price was approximately $3.70, so it's not cheap. But guess what? We got... Uh, we got the word from uh, our buddy there who says this is good, so we are going to try it. Small batch from scratch. You know, I can't understand why they would put that there. Uh, we know that they didn't make this little box, you know, from scratch, but they probably made a gigantic vat full of this stuff from scratch. I believe that. So what else uh, do we know about this? Okay. Let's see here, Michelangelo's uncomprise, yeah, uncomprisingly Italian style, the way we've always done it. Our Sicilian family heritage, heritage inspires an appreciation for Mediterranean, for the Mediterranean Sea. We usually serve seafood for special occasions. Well, I bought it. This is a special occasion. When we make shrimp scampi, the kitchen fills with the distinctive aroma of garlic and lemon. I can just see this kitchen. 50,000 square feet of gigantic vats, truckloads of shrimp being dumped onto a conveyor belt, big things of 400 pound cubes of butter. I mean, I can picture it. Lemon uh, concentrate from God knows where, but hey, they're trying. We start the this dish with 100% semolina linguina pasta, cooked al dente. Uh huh. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, yup. Yeah. And add plump, tender shrimp to our perfectly blended sauce, made from lemon, butter, and freshly diced garlic. It is then topped with diced tomatoes and garnished with a little parsley. Instant family conversational conversation. Enjoy. I can't read today. Michelangelo, signed from the guy himself, the foreman at the plant, probably. I mean, come on. You know, you get this vision of this guy, like, slaving over this little pan, doing all this crap and putting it in a box. It is not going to happen. But we got some pictures here. It looks like Michelangelo doing something over a thing of cheese and Michelangelo with his girlfriend holding a bunch of uh, vegetables, a little tiny pasta machine. And looks like Mrs. Michelangelo over there cooking. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll take a close-up of the box and you'll be able to make note of that. So, uh, we got a good idea what the ingredients are in here, but let's look at the 
official ingredients. Oh, here we go. Ingredients come in fresh daily. Our meals are made flash, frozen, and shipped directly to your grocer. Where else are they going to go? Disneyland? I mean, come on. All right. So, I can't find... Ah, here they are. Nutritional facts. The serving size is one tray. Servings per container, one. I'm only going to tell you the calories, and guess what? It's 540 calories. 250 of them are from fat. And the total fat in this thing is 28 grams at 43%. Not going to go through them all. Uh, I will photograph this so that you can see it. Now, surprisingly here, uh, the ingredients list on this one I am going to read because it's kind of small. But I will also take a picture. Ingredients. Shrimp. Salt. Sodium, sodium triopolyphosphate to retain moisture. Water. Pasta. Durum semolina buttercream, tomato strips, tomatoes and salt, fresh basil, garlic, lemon juice, not from concentrate. Okay, they're, they're, it's not from concentrate, so we don't have, uh, you know, a, a big vat of lemon juice. I guess they squeeze them in there. Um, what else? Citrus flour, dried orange pulp, and fresh parsley and spice. Contains crustacean shellfish, shrimp, wheat, milk. Well, okay. I mean, that's a pretty good ingredient list. There's not a lot of chemicals and unknowns in there. Um, I got to give them credit. So, I know I've been busting on them a little bit, but hey, for $3.70, I get to do that. So, uh, let's, uh, oh, founders, Michelangelo and his mother, Sarah. Wow, she looks young enough to be his wife. Well, my mistake. Okay. All right, so let's open up this box and see what we got. Nice, easy, open chair there, huh? Oh, look at that. One compartment, and I can see one, two, three, maybe four shrimp. Maybe, yeah, maybe four shrimp, good amount. We'll know for sure when we open it up. And uh, doesn't look bad at all, okay? Looks pretty good. So... So far, so good. Let's look at the cooking instructions. Do not thaw or keep frozen until ready to use. Due to variations in all ovens, cooking times and or temperatures may require adjustment. We know that. Okay, we're going to do the microwave. Microwave oven, here we go. Microwave cooking instructions based on 1,100 watt appliance for uh, 1,250 watt microwaves reduce the cooking time. Remove entire, uh, entree from carton, place on a microwavable plate and place in a microwave, cook on high with film on for four to six minutes. Carefully remove the film, because you're going to burn yourself, stir and let stand for five minutes before serving. Now, conventional oven, 400 degrees. We're not doing it. Uh, remove entire entree from carton, place on a cookie sheet so it doesn't boil over and get everything all messed up. Uh, for added support, on the center rack at least six to eight inches from heating elements. Leave film on during cooking. Bake 30 to 35 minutes. Remove from the oven on cookie sheet for added uh, on cookie sheet for added support. Carefully remove film, stir and let stand for five minutes before serving. Do not cook in toaster ovens. Do not. So, you know, I got to tell you, when something's got to be cooked with the cover on. And you don't need to get any browning or crusting or anything like that. I mean, I, I just can't see bothering to fire up an oven for 400 degrees and, and then 30 to 35 minutes. So, let me get started on this. I'm going to pop it in the microwave. I'll be back when it's done and then we'll give it the, the old taste test. See you in a little bit. shrimp. Got one, got two, got three, got four, got five, got six, got seven, got eight. 
Well, I gotta tell you, they didn't skimp on the shrimp. And I hope that price I gave you on the Walmart uh, was accurate. I know it was above 350, but I don't remember how much. Um, I don't think it was over four. I lost the receipt. I looked all over for it. I put it someplace where I wouldn't lose it. That was the big problem right there. All the time. You know, you do that and for, for good it's gone. Got to tell you, it smells awesome. Rufus smells pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. He uh, was hanging out by the microwave. So, let's take a bite of the pasta first. Okay. See if it's, uh, what am I expecting? I'm expecting good flavor for sure. I'm hoping the shrimp aren't, you know, tough from the freezing and God knows what else they did to them. But uh, let's try this pasta out. Wow. Yummy. Oh yeah. Um, Justin, Justin Leitner, you're absolutely right. This is really, really good so far. Um, pasta is good. Al dente, yeah, as, as much as it can be, you know, from from being cooked once and then frozen and then uh, cooked again in the microwave. I want to try another bite. That one was very uh, buttery, very flavorful, uh, loaded with garlic. I'm going to have worse breath than, the, breath than the Pope when I get done with this one. So let's uh, take another bite because it was a little salty and I just want to... The sauce is very nice. The garlic flavor is coming through. The uh, uh, shrimp flavor, obviously the broth that they made. I can taste the tomato. Very nice. And all the flavors are very, very good. I must admit, though, it's a little bit on the salty side. Not a problem, though. Like I said, you know, I salt ham. Uh, but so far, I give the pasta a five. I give the sauce a five. I don't remember reading wine on there, but it tastes like there's something like a, a reduction of wine. But definitely the butter, definitely the garlic. Let's give one of these shrimp a try. Mmm. Excellent texture. Flavor. Excellent. I can taste the shrimp. That sauce that they have in here is awesome. Again, uh, the saltiness is coming through. I wish I had a piece of bread with this. This meal you should have a little piece of Italian bread with you to, to uh, enjoy it with. Uh, or even garlic bread. Yeah, why not? Garlic on top of garlic, you know. So you don't see anybody for a couple of days. No problem. In any case, shrimp gets a five. Sauce gets a five, except for the salt. I'm not even going to penalize them on that uh, because um, even shrimp scampi, when I make it myself or, or anywhere, I don't add salt and it still comes out a little salty because of the, the shrimp. Uh, I believe that's what causes it. So uh, overall, I got to give the meal a five. He was absolutely right. This blows away a lot of the other frozen foods that are out there. I'm definitely going to have to check in the Michelangelo's other dishes. Uh, I'm very pleased with this one. Um, it definitely, definitely uh, just miles apart from, from a lot of what's out there. So I'm definitely going to try this again. Will I buy it again? Absolutely. Will I buy other products from them? Absolutely. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you all again shortly. Bye-bye now.